Now, five Kenyans and one Tanzanian will now be remanded in custody for the next 30 days over the Garissa University College terror attack. Mlimani resident magistrate Benson Nzakio ruled that it was in the public interest to allow the state to continue detaining the six until investigations are complete. Meanwhile, in Mombasa, parents of the most wanted terror suspect, Mohammed Abubakar Mohammed, came out to seek government protection. KTN's coast reporter Francis Ontomwa has the details. Grounded and gnashing teeth in the dock for the first time today, the one was to come close to six of the top suspects for the deadly Garissa University attack. The six, Mohamed Suro, Osman Dakane, Mohamed Abikar, Hassan Aden, Sahal Hussein and Tanzanian national Rashid Charles Mberesero, alias Rehani Dida, were brought in heavily guarded by the police. Among the suspects is one man who worked in a hotel in Garissa town where the attackers who invaded the university allegedly took their meals. Also in the dock was a security guard at the university who was allegedly seen making several phone calls and taking photographs after the university attack, something that caught the attention of investigators. The six have been remanded in custody for 30 days at various police stations pending investigations into the incident. As the wheels of justice were spinning in the capital city, in Mombasa, the family of another prime suspect, Mohammed Abu Bakar Mohammed, were recounting a troubling narrative. <laughs> Abu Bakar Mohammed is said to have left the home nine months ago, allegedly to conduct Muslim lessons in a faraway land. His school at Malindi Central Primary and his parents describe him as a hard-working man who was employed at a petrol station in Malindi. Francis Ontomwa, KTN.